have a wonderful year, yes, been for ET Zone in year 2013. There are so many things for us to thank God for, and I can't believe the year is already over. There's so many amazing events that has happened in 2013. Let us show you a couple of milestones that we have conquered and follow us. Follow us. As we approach the end of March, the tertiary subzone ran their second camp, Bits Ablaze, Man on Fire. The hearts of the young adults were stood up once again and they left the camp with unforgettable memories and experiences. Not only did the tertiary and youths have their own fun, but the adults also went for a hunt for Singapore's best food in an event called the Makan Guru. That's right, I heard they tried local food like durian, rojak and even turtle soup. You know what Marcus? I heard they had to dress up as Teenage, Mutant, Ninja, Toto wow. And they have to do a dance in front of their friends That's amazing Yeah, that's right Y-O-L-O -O Camp YOLO YOLO In June 2013, our ET Zone had our 10th Camp Anniversary Camp YOLO it was truly a phenomenal event and we truly enjoyed ourselves with all the games, all the joy and all the laughter. We remember the session shared by Brother Poe and it truly brought us closer to God. That's right, all of us who attended went home with a renewed love for God and of course lasting friendships were being forged. The youth further outdid themselves as the YOLO band was crowned champion for our church-wide Emerge Battle of Band Finals. Let us hear it from our own lead guitarist, Ken Vin. I believe that uh, because of hard work and our willingness to try out new things, uh, things that's out of the norm, yeah. and also thank God for His grace that we were able to be crowned the champion for the BOD. And last but not least, I want to thank ET Zone for giving us the opportunity to shine for you. Thank you. People, 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 breaking news! Our very own Pastor Edmund and Jia Hui were both given the opportunity to appear on Channel News Asia to share their views on parenting and technology. Pastor appeared in the local newspaper, The Business Times, sharing his expertise on blogging about fatherhood. Towards the end of the year, Jia Hui also made a guest appearance on Channel 5's program, The Red Dot. Their influences were broadcasted nationwide and they effectively demonstrated to us what it means to be a sword and light for Jesus. We, we are, are so proud of them. them! The youth and tertiary subzones combined for over a span of two weeks learning photography skills. Johannes, a professional in the field of photography and a friend of our zone, graciously shared his skills with us. Maya Tan from the Tertiary Subzone came in top 10 for the new paper New Face Miss Popularity Contest. Besides that, Torrance Chong also took part in his university RMIT's pageant and was crowned Mr. Photogenic. We are so proud of Maya and Torrance for shining in the arts and the entertainment sector of society. The adults went back to school at Johor Bahru for the annual retreat. School uniforms, hilarious dramas and exciting childhood games were some of the things that was seen over the three days. It was a time of heartwarming testimonies and spirit lifting impartations by Pastor Edmund. It was also a time of relaxation and strengthening of relationships. Um, for us as adults, right, we know that for weekdays we have to work and for some of them they have family to take care. And for this camp, if three days, uh, two nights, it's really a time to really devote to God and to the cell group members to have fellowship with uh, one another. I think uh, what Pastor shared is, uh, you know, about being bold. But what really blessed me is really hearing the testimonies of the leaders that demonstrate to us what is really called being bold in your prayer. And I feel that, you know, when I heard Pastor's word, it, I, I was convicted but when I heard the testimony I was convinced that really you know if it, if God can bless them in that way when they ask for something so bold I believe that it can also happen to me as well To add on to the great news Jessica and Christine Lin made it to the top in Boon Lay Secondary School for the N-Level examination giving God all the glory the tertiary subzone liars with the MCYC Community Services to organise a Christmas party for children with learning deficiencies. They made the children so happy by putting up a Christmas drama, giving out goodie bags and preparing food for them. 
what better way is there than to show the love of God to the less fortunate in society during Christmas? E.T. Zone ended 2013 with a big bang! With a never done before highly energetic event, PJ Dash. For the first time, the youths rocked the streets of Orchard, playing games, having performances, having social outreaches, the mambo, and not forgetting the wildest flash ball. Social outreaches included getting the members to give away gift packs to less fortunate children from MCYC and then after getting public to write notes of well wishes for them. The participants of the events also went to members of society to bless them with Christmas gifts. All in all, PJ Dash was a breakthrough event. Most importantly, we want to thank God for the breakthrough in campus revivals that He has brought into our zone. In this Christmas season alone, Jurong West Sec has seen a total of 28 friends joining us for Christmas services. Praise the Lord! Uh, last year has been a very uh, exciting year for us because uh, during Christmas, uh, two of us together with two of our friends, we brought a total number of 28 friends uh, to church for Christmas service. So, uh, and most of them, like around 8 of them still continue to join us for uh, weekly services and cell groups. Looking back through the year, it was a very great and fruitful year. God has been a very great God for, to us. And the reason why we bring a lot of friends to church because it's very joyful to see them receiving Christ as their Saviour. We really believe that prayer is the key to bring forth revival. So, if, if God, God can bring, bring revival through us, God, God can bring, bring revival through you. Wow, wow, wow. Wasn't that an amazing year for us in 2013? There were so many events, so many fellowships, you know, so many meetings. And it was a time, you know, where we gathered together and we encountered God in a brand new way. For us as leaders, you know, I think 2013 was an extraordinary year because we began to fall in love with God again and again and again. And we are excited, we are full of faith, you know, anticipating about what God is going to do for us in 2014. You know, as we begin to hear sermons about how we need to keep our focus and keep our discipline, I believe that as we continue to focus and continue to discipline ourselves to focus on God, I believe that our God, my God, your God will surely come true for us. So in 2014, we're praying that it will be the best year yet for all of us. At the end of the year, when we do this video again, it will be a time of celebration because we had a wonderful year. Happy 2014! Looking back at 2013, it has been an eventful year filled with tremendous joy, achievements and breakthroughs. All this would not have been possible without you, your hard work and your support. As a zone, we are so thankful for the victories that God has granted us. We say this all the time, no doubt 2013 has been a great year, but 2014, 2014 will, will be a, a greater great year. year.